That sound means it's time for the illustrious backyard kitchen from HEB here in our backyard inside. That's right. And inside. Chef Scott Tompkins is here, and Charlotte's a little under the weather. So she is. We, we hope that uh, she gets to feeling better, but it is Lenten season. That means fish. It is. It's that time of year, so we're going to do a little, uh, little fish dish. So this is really, really, you can see there's not a lot of stuff to do, so it's going to be very simple. This is perfect for a man we, to be able to It's exactly this. right. No uh, fewer screw-ups. So we've got a beautiful piece of sea bass. This will work with any white fish. Look at this. Any uh, firm flesh. That's a beautiful piece of, of uh, sea bass Look we got that. from our what did you local put, HEB. What did you put on there? All this is just salt and pepper. We just got a little salt and pepper on this side. We've got a, a hot pan. We're going to start. We made a chermuya sauce. So chermuya sauce is our chermula sauce, however you want to say it, is a North African condiment. And we made ours with parsley, lime, garlic, cilantro, and then a couple of seasonings. Cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, and then a little bit of jalapeno just to kind of texify a little bit. So if you want to add a little olive oil to our pan here. We'll do that. By the way, you're hearing sirens in the background because apparently there's a fire downtown, and you keep it on KSAT 12. We'll let you know what's going on here with right. KSAT right. News. So that's going to so. get hot. We're going to let that heat up. So we're going to see our fish for just a, uh, about a couple minutes aside. So we're going to, we're going to check on the, uh, we're going to let you be the poker. Now, uh, t uh, tell me, check this the, is uh, rare when you so That's rare. Yeah, don't, don't flex your finger. When you do it, you just want to push... Just gently, the just touch part the fingers, of your hand. just that's the fatty rare. part of your thumb. Yeah, and then this as you move up the tree, more medium rare, medium, medium well, and as you get to the end there, well it's well done. done. So you see it, you're pushing you it, it's... Poke this, it's rotten. So we you, touch this, okay. that, that pretty much the flesh stays down. That's right? raw. Yeah. It's raw, that's rare, it's as rare as it gets. All right, we're going to uh, a little sear the fish here, we're going to turn up the heat. So the good thing about fish is it'll actually start to tell you when it's done, because you'll start to see the... Uh, the somewhat clear flesh startly turn opaque. Would you see? Look at you. Look at professional. You know exactly how to do this. Listen, dude. I'm trying to keep up with you, I don't even know how to man. even. So you were probably cooking during the Super Bowl last night, weren't you? Yes. What did you have a favorite commercial? Yeah, you know I did. There Which was one? a lot. There was a lot of commercials, but I think the the Christopher Walken Kia was probably my favorite. Oh, I, none. I wear cool socks too. I mean, do you, <laughs> do, you, you do, do you do an impersonate? Can you impersonate Christopher uh, Walken? I think everybody tries to impersonate Christopher Let's Walken. Let's do Christopher so. Walken cooking fish. All right, we'll, we'll try. All right, let's this is the Jeff. Largely, we need to flip the fish after about three and a half minutes, perhaps, maybe more. We'll see. Next, we're going to go ahead and do uh, the chimuya sauce. Went ahead. That was smart. We made it ahead of time. So here you go. It's finished. I also brought some honeycomb. No reason why. I just felt like we did something sweet, too. Honeycomb's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not small. So, all right. So I, so I do one. So you are a radio guy. So do you do, uh, you do any uh, impersonations? Yeah, you've done. Uh, I do a little, a little Johnny Carson. All right. Uh, may your oldest child become one of the Pointer Sisters. But uh, Casey Kasem <laughs> is another big one. Wait, wait, wait. So Casey Kasem, radio Casey Kasem. Yeah, the That's guy that counted to backwards. Do. Yeah. Well, let's, you know. let's hear it. Right, so, uh, uh, the fish gets smaller. My belly gets bigger. Keep your hands, keep your hands on the ground and your feet. <laughs> and you're living over your stomach. <laughs> so what if Christopher you... Walken and Casey Kasem started cooking uh, fish together? <laughs> it's the Casey, largely. It's time to flip. We're burning it now. <laughs> well, fish you, got you know, this I got comes. a long-distance dedication from the perch. <laughs> We're at H-E-B. All right, hey, so how long do we cook this? So this is going to go for about uh, like three minutes aside, and I know the segment's not that long, so that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to the chairman. I think we're doing impersonations. <laughs> We're gonna decorate up. We did. I brought. I finally uh, got smart and decided we should have like a plating plate. So we finally bought a plating plate. What did you do? I'm gonna with turn the. the uh, so you can see we're uh, we got olive oil, which is starting to burn. We're at that temperature, which means we're at about 300 in the pan. I'm sorry. Actually, 300 in the pan is about the temperature we're at right now. Casey. And that's great. And the smoke keeps rising and the hits get bigger. <laughs> so we're gonna keep turning this around. So now we're gonna check it. So we'll we'll touch the. Okay. So go right. ahead and put your finger down and okay. see. And see. So where, where do you matches. feel? That we're probably I, we're probably still like a little on the uh, rare. By the way, the poking of the hand is only for those of you who don't have a thermometer at home. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know what? So when you do the thermometer, you keep like poking it. Would say what? The, if you keep poking the fish, all the, the moisture is going to run out, and it's going to be terrible fish. That's right. You want all the juice to stay. stay in. We need more cowbell. This is. <laughs> More, I'm not getting any more cowbell. More cowbell. The ding ding. It's hard to. Uh, Hang on, my rides here. I've never cooked fish as Christopher Walken. <laughs> that's not us, by the way. Uh, that's a, <laughs> it could be. That's because not us. The, uh, the smoke is rising. All right, so we're gonna flip this over one more time here. So you got a little, uh, little bit now. The great thing about sea bass is this is great on the grill. Because it's a nice, any firm flesh white fish is right in the grill. We're doing it in the pan, obviously, because we don't want you to have to go fire up the grill to do all this. Right. I'm taking the gloves off because... It's time. The hands are sweating. It's time to eat. Christopher Walken's got me, uh... 
<laughs> all worked up. <laughs> this recipe, by the way, will be on salive.com and HEB right. Recipes. HEB. All right, so we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna do a recipes. So that's that. Now, what's the honeycomb for? What are we going to do? We're going to put real honey on this? So, oh, yeah. No, no. We're not going to do it on the fish. I brought it. Have you ever tried real honeycomb? Just a straight. We sell this at HEB. I brought it because I was like, you know, Jeff probably needs to try it. They bought extra forks. I did not know that it's you It's actually very you good for you. You can just eat the... I say good for you. I should use quotation marks because I'd be getting slapped by Charlotte right now going, sugar's not necessarily good for you. But well, but it's, it's delicious it's, and uh, it helps with the local allergies, right? That's right. It's of the earth. It does. Yeah. It does help you with local allergies. Local bee, local pollen. So chamouille sauce right over the top. Wow. Well, I want you to try the chamouille sauce because that's where the uh, stick your finger out. This is just the oh, your, yeah, fork finger. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, take it what, easy, what Jeff. Is, what is, Slowly, Chamuya, Chamuya. What does that fast. look like? What just happened? Mm. <laughs> that's delicious. That is that is awesome. Yeah, so the cumin, all that stuff. Yeah, that's it, and that's uh, that's all. And so uh, take take a little bite of the end piece there, and we get some. Uh, a little bite of the I end. I like my fish medium rare. So that's really? a little bit of that kind of all right. you know, clear. There it is. Clear in the middle, like a steak, you know. It is. That's delicious. It's not bad, right? That is unbelievable. Thank you for thank you, hey. Christopher. It was well, most welcome. You know, it was a surprise for me <laughs> to be here. HEB.com <laughs> forward slash recipes uh, in the HEB backyard kitchen.